today I'm doing a very elegant registry or reception um, Asian bridal look. This will work really well with really nice deep smoky purples, a really nice way of adding some colour into an outfit maybe that hasn't The jewellery I'm wearing today on. is by Kyle's, available from Ziggy Studio and I will leave a link at the bottom um, for contact details if you wish to source the jewellery. It's very very beautiful with a beautiful matching tiara that works really really well for maybe if you are going for maybe a white dress or some sort of pastel um, outfit so this jewellery will really complement that and the makeup look I've done today Day is a way of maybe including some great colours um, just along the eye area, really sort of dark smoky eyes, deep purples blending off into lilac. So if you'd like to know how to do this look then just keep on to watching. To start today's look I've already primed my eye with Urban Decay's Primer Potion and I'm using this pointed fluffy brush and I'm going in with Max Paint Pot Imagery. Just going to touch the brush in and just apply this as our base colour. Just all over the sort of outer V and then working it into the lashes. Small flat brush, I'm going in with this sort of lighter lilac colour. This is from Whims and Fancies by MAC. Just packing on this colour in the inner corner because we're going to graduate in shades of purple. So we're starting with lighter brush, I'm going in with Shale by MAC. It's going to be our next colour. Placing that into the centre. flat brush, going in with Plush Pro Longwear by MAC, a really nice deep purple and this is going to be our darkest outer V shade. So we're placing that in the outer V and just working it in. And just to intensify that colour just a tad more, I'm going in with that same flat brush and I'm going in with the darker shade of that Whims and Fancies by MAC. I'm just going to place that just at that V point. Then with a fluffy brush, just blend the colour up. Brush. I'm just running Purple Haze by MAC, just slightly above the crease as well. The large flat brush, I'm going in with Vanilla by MAC. This is going to be our brow highlight. Really nice and matte, nothing too shiny. Make that purple pop a bit more with a flat brush. I'm going in with MAC's, I think it's Pathway Armour. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. I'm just placing this just along the lash line in the sort of two thirds away across the eye. I just worked some black cardial into my lower lash line and I'm going in with Urban Decay's 24-7 pencil in Lust which is a really nice bright vibrant purple. I'm just placing that on my lower lash line and working it right in and then we're going to blend this in with blended pencil that in. Just to catch a bit of light into the inner corner and really sort of brighten up the eyes I'm going in with Pure Flash um, this is the, I think it's the Electric Cool Eyeshadows by MAC and a very small brush and we're just placing that into the inner corner. It's really nice peachy. Take the look, we're just going in with some metallic pigments by MAC. This is Butterfly Party, a really nice deep purple. Just pat some on, on a small flat brush. And I'm placing that just over sort of the lighter shades of purple that we applied, where we applied the shale. And just over the centre of the eye, like dark well. purple from the same collection. This has got a slightly more bluey tinge to it, you can see there. We're placing this where we place the pathway Amar, just over there. And this will add a bit of more dimension to the with some purple. top eyeliner, and this is the Black Ink by Bobbi Brown. And we're just going to. Then I'm going in with Alpy Lash from MAC my upper and lower lashes and then I will apply some false eyelashes and show you what I used on the rest of my face. So now I've completed all the look and I've put on the jewellery and the tiara and for the rest of my face I used, um, this is Plum Foolery by MAC um, and I use this colour because it's got a really nice sort of pinky undertone to it and um, rather than it being too peachy and it is a shimmer tone blush as well so which is really nice, it gives a nice sort of finish um, to the apples of the cheeks. Um, and then I also use the Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. This is in Star Wonder from a recent collection that they did sort of um, around um, the sort of stars and moons. Um, and I used a lot of this um, sparkly sort of peachy colour as a highlight just to really catch the light. Hopefully the camera's picking it up there. And then for the rest of my face I used um, Bior Cream Stick Lip Liner which is a really great um, one for nude lipsticks. And then I used my very first um, MAC lipstick that I ever 
got, which is Viva Glam. I think it's Viva Glam number two. It's sort of worn away from there. It's a really nice, very, very light nude um, colour, but has quite a pinky undertone to it. Um, so there you can sort of see I've applied that and it blends in really well with the cream stick liner as well. And then I also went over that with Budding Romance, um, a really nice lip gloss um, by Now zoomed well. in for you there, there you can see the really very light lilacs blending off into that gorgeous, very deep, deep smoky purples with that sort of bluey purple really poking through. It really looks really nice and then going off into the So I really hope you enjoyed brown. today's look and found it really useful. It's a really nice way of injecting some colour into your makeup without making it too heavy um, and too bright. Um, and it works really well if you are wearing sort of maybe lighter shades, pastel colours, or maybe a white dress. And it complements this very sort of diamante style, um, silvery base type of jewellery. So I hope you found it useful. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos, more makeup tutorials. You can also visit my website, Glam face.co.uk and uh, drop me an email if you'd like to get in touch at nyla at glamface.co.uk. Okay, I'll see you all in my next video.